Hey everybody, this is a little different. I've been showing fans, so this one's a motor. This is uh, an old, around 1920 or maybe earlier, uh, General Electric motor, repulsion induction. It's huge. It's one half horsepower, solid cast iron, and uh, this is a true repulsion induction motor. The brushes do not lift off the commutator, and there's squirrel cage windings inside the rotor underneath the uh, underneath the windings. It's six pole. Uh, has very large heavy bearings that are that have the the slip ring lubrication on them. They have uh, you know the the bronze rings that ride on the shaft and bring oil up over them. This whole baby I completely rebuilt. Uh, God, it's heavy too. This thing weighs over 100 pounds. Uh, let me turn them around here. Get a good view of them here. I'm going to plug them in too. Uh, I rebuilt this, painted it. Uh, Rust-Oleum Soft Machine Gray. It's a uh, six pole, like I said. I did everything, including having the armatures, commutators turn the rotors. But uh, I'll go ahead and start this bad boy up, and here it goes. Not very exciting, but uh, there it is. Runs uh, very slowly. You can see the commutators there spinning. Uh, it's 1100 RPM. No clicks, clacks, or anything. When you turn it off, it just just stops. Like so. See the rotor turning, and I'm back on. It's actually a very quiet motor. It's a very pleasant sound, but that is my type SCR repulsion induction general electric motor running and shutting back off. That's it.